All right, let's get right into it. Chris Brown, Heartbreak and a Full Moon. Now, this album is 45 tracks long, so it's a bit on the long side. I'm going to split up the review into four or three videos just so the, the whole review isn't like one 40-minute <laughs> video because no one would watch it. Now, moving on, let's get right into the album. Track one is Lost and Found. Now, this features some guitar chords, um, and it's basically Chris Brown complaining about a girl wasting his time and him just arguing um and a girl complaining about her position in chris brown's life now this was a solid way to start off an album i i, I would say um i didn't really be transitioned towards the the end of the track and how he um he starts singing in a higher octave where he says lord don't save her so yeah um interesting way to start, start off an album moving on we have track two privacy now i love the instrumental of this track like this is one of my favorite um i know we got the track before now i love the instrumental the only thing i'll say about this track is uh it is a bit vulgar. Like I didn't, I really did enjoy the, the singing, and I did enjoy the chorus where he's like, "We're gonna turn the lights all the way down." Um, but the, like the rap verse at the end is like way too vulgar. Um, I know Chris Brown has like younger fans too, but like Jesus Christ, a bit too detailed here. But it, overall, solid track. Moving on, track three, Juicy, you know the word, can't say it. Featuring Janet and R. Kelly. Now this is a great a great track on the album for sure. I did enjoy um Janet Janet Eichel's verse. She has an album out. Definitely check that out. Um. And it features a verse from R. Kelly, which I thought was amazing. Uh, and that's pretty much all I have to say. Janet Aiko and R. Kelly definitely did their thing there. Track four, Questions. It's Of course, this is the Kevin Little remake. Now, I love the track. I mean, how could you not love the track? It's definitely a throwback to, to the song. It's, it's kind of like a remake. Uh, it is a remake, but um, the chorus is amazing. Chris Brown definitely does a great vocal performance here. So, yeah, definitely one of my favorite songs from the album. Moving on, we have track five, Heartbreak on a Full Moon. Of course, that's the title track. Now, I feel pretty indifferent on this track. I mean, like, it's not a bad track, but it's not an incredibly great track. That's all I really, I'm really going to say about that track. Moving on, we have track six, Roses. Now, this track is definitely one of my favorite. It has an interesting instrumental. Like, it's kind of like electronic alternative, like Halloween vibe instrumental. Um, and there is, like, a vocal distortion before the track begins. Well, in the beginning of the track, um, which I thought was great, too. So, yeah, it's definitely a solid, great track from Chris Brown. Um, I do enjoy the part where he sings Roses are Red, Violets are Blue, Lie in My Bed, and, like, that whole string of lines that follow. So yeah, solid, solid, solid track. Moving on to track seven, confidence, um, which in, features another enjoyable instrumental. That's one thing. The production on this album is really good. Uh, this is basically, you get major island vibes from this track. Um, it's about an affair, but um, yeah, major island vibes. Definitely throughout the album, you definitely hear like the island vibe influence in questions and just songs like confidence and songs like track eight, rock your body. Um, Chris Brown gives his best Jamaican impression. <laughs> I saw a tweet and it's like, which one of the, uh, which Jamaican girl is giving um, Chris Brown some of that punani? Because <laughs> you definitely hear the influence on the album. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny, but um, I do enjoy this track. Um, I'm not gonna lie, Chris Brown's Jamaican impression was eh, but I did like his uh, his singing where he goes back to his normal voice and his normal um, normal uh, yeah, just normal voice. I did enjoy that. Moving on, we have track ten, handle it, featuring Dage Loaf and Little Yachty. Little Yachty was okay. Um, I did really enjoy Dage Loaf though. I felt like Dage Loaf snapped towards her verse at the end, especially where she goes, um, two shots got me feeling myself, no telling what I'll do with my hands. Like that, that part, I really did enjoy that. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's great to see De Dage Loaf back in like the mainstream. I know she like disappeared for a little bit, but not to see her, um, still making music. So I feel like she's a great artist. Moving on, we have track 11, Sip. Uh, this is another decent track, nothing too much to say about this. Um, I feel pretty indifferent towards the track. Moving on, we have track 12, Everybody Knows. Now, this instrumental is Flames. Um, I'm pretty sure this is about Karushe. <laughs> like, I'm, like, I'm listening to the lyrics on because this definitely sounds like Karushe, because it's about, um, a girl coming up after she dated Chris Brown, and, like, her now having all these things since she dated Chris Brown, and they broke up, and her being in the spotlight. So, yeah, probably definitely about Karushe. But, yeah, those are the first 12 tracks on the album. Um, part 2, I'll put part 2 to my review up probably either later today or tomorrow so yeah like comment subscribe if you enjoyed the video it would mean a lot and peace out guys